Welcome to this session on getting started with CNA eTool, which is an excerpt of a webinar that was originally recorded in June of 2020. The purpose of this session is to explain the different CNA eTool user types and how to access CNA eTool. So version 3.0 of the CNA eTool will be used by needs assessors, FHA approved lenders, public housing agencies, or PHAs who are engaging in RAD transactions only. The two remaining participating administrative entities, or PAEs, for mark-to-market -mark rest mark -mark restructuring only, HUD multifamily staff, and in the future, USDA employees. So first we'll discuss how to access the CNA eTool. The CNA eTool is hosted on HUD Secure Systems platform. The security measures require a user ID known as an M ID and password to access the CNA eTool. This process protects the confidentiality of the data submitted through the Secure Systems platform. It takes time to get credentials for Secure Systems, so those of you who don't currently have access should begin the process as soon as possible. FHA-approved lenders who have submitted CNAs using the legacy submission portal should already have their credentials. They will simply use the same credentials or user IDs and passwords to log into version 3.0. Again, lenders need not reapply to access the new version. They can simply use their current MID to log in. PHAs and PAEs will now be submitting their CNAs to HUD using the new CNA eTool web app as well. As submitters, PHA and PAE organizations need to log into Secure Systems to use the CNA eTool also using MIDs just like lenders. Now, in the legacy system, the needs assessors did not have to log into any system at all. Instead, they used the assessment tool Excel spreadsheets saved on their individual computers to enter data. Going forward, however, the needs assessors will be required to log into Secure Systems to access the CNA eTool and enter all of the data using the version 3.0 web app hosted there. They will no longer have to work on assessment tool Excel files on their individual computers. So to paraphrase what we discussed on the last slide, everyone involved in preparing and submitting CNAs to HUD using the CNA eTool version 3.0 must be registered to obtain credentials, their login MIDs, to access the eTool. This is a two-step process. Step one, before any individuals in an organization can register in HUD Secure Systems, the organization itself must be registered in HUD's Active Partners Performance System called APPS as a multifamily business partner. One of the principles of the organization must do so using the organization's tax identification number or TIN. Step two, individuals in the organization must register in secure systems either as coordinators or standard users. We'll discuss the distinction between coordinators and regular users later in this webinar. As mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, there are different types of organizations that may register to use the CNA eTool. They include FHA insured, FHA approved lenders, sorry, multifamily business partners, which include needs assessors, participating administrative entities or PAEs, and USDA, and multifamily participants, which consist of PHAs. The process for registering and obtaining MIDs for users differs by organization type. Before we go on to questions, I wanted to summarize what you've just heard because it, it, is, um, it sounds a little complicated, I realize. So to summarize, if you do not have an MID yet, please make sure you do the following. Make sure your organization or firm is registered in apps 
and, and an executive or a principal should do this using the firm's TIN. Make sure someone in your organization is registered as a coordinator. This person needs to first get their MID and apply to be a coordinator for your organization 